All right, what's going on guys? It's Sam here. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to spin dunk in NBA 2K21 and the best badges and animations you should be using when attempting this move. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, why should everyone know how to perform the spin dunk? Well, the spin dunk is one of the best ways of attacking the hoop because if timed correctly, you can get right by your opponent for an easy dunk or layup. And you can also chain this move with other moves such as the post spin, which just adds another move to your bag of tricks when attacking the hoop and it's just always gonna keep your opponent guessing. So quickly, before I get into how to perform the spin dunk, it's very important for you guys to know some of the factors that increase your chances of this move being effective against your opponent in the first place. So first off here, I have some badges that'll increase the likelihood of the spin dunk working or you not getting the ball stripped when performing the move. And first off, I have fancy footwork Definitely an essential move when attacking the rim, and it'll just give you better animations. Second, we have Unpluckable because this spin, dunk slash layup, I will say this move does get stripped quite a bit, so having Unpluckable will definitely help you help you out here. Uh, up next, we have Slurly Finisher or Contact Finisher or both. Both those will be great. Contact Finisher will get you more dunk animations, and Slithery will get you right by your opponent. And then Giant Slayer and Acrobat will be great for uh, going up against Taller. Higher, taller players and acrobat will help you finish the layup and then consistent finisher and pro touch will help you with the timing of the layups depending on if you time it correctly and then lastly we have quick first step which really doesn't help the layup animation but it gets you open and your makes your it makes your player a lot quicker so i definitely recommend quick first step on any any player that's you know or any build that's trying to attack the rim so moving on to the second and probably just as important as the badges we have animations and the layup packages or the layup package in the dunk you equip to your player plays a crucial role in the type of layups and dunks you'll be getting when attacking the hoop. So the layup package that I recommend is Long Athlete. And just from my experience, it is the glitchiest and the best layup package when trying to get through or around defenders. So yeah, definitely equip Long Athlete if you can on your player. And I also want to just throw this in here. That is the same layup package that Giannis Antetokounmpo has in the game, Long Athlete. So definitely throw on long athlete just it's it's the best in the game from my experience so you can always you know choose your own layup package but in my opinion long athlete is the best but now with all the information out of the way let's go ahead and get into the tutorial all right so getting into the spin layup slash spin dunk tutorial now guys very very simple if you already know how to euro step or if you watch my video how to euro step it's pretty much it's gonna take you like five seconds it's pretty much the same thing except you're gonna double tap square instead and if you haven't seen that video, I recommend you check that out. Euro stepping is probably better than spin dunking in my opinion. But no, we're going to go ahead, get into the spin layup, spin dunk tutorial here because that's what you're here for. And I'm going to go ahead and talk through the move and then I'm going to perform the move as my controller glitches out there. Um, I'm going to talk through the move, then perform the move and then talk through it while performing it so you guys can have multiple chances to hear how I'm describing the move and then visually see at the same time. So here we go. What I'm going to do is press the left stick towards the hoop, like I'm obviously attacking the hoop. And then right before there's my defenders there or where an imaginary defender would be, probably like right around here. I'm going to press the left stick to the left or right, whatever direction I'm going to spin to. I'll probably press to the left for this, for this tutorial, but you can go left or right. You can decide what direction you want to spin and hold R2. While holding R2, I'm going to double tap square just quickly, as quickly as possible and uh, hold R2 so you get the dunk animation. So here we go, gonna perform the move. And look at that, beautiful spin dunk. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk through it now while performing the move. And I'm gonna run towards the hoop, here we go. Press to the left, double tap square, hold R2 at the same time. If I don't hold R2, I'm not gonna get the dunk animation. And sometimes, you know, uh, I, I guess sometimes it won't register if you don't have good tendencies or you don't have contact finisher You might get a layup animation, but you really want to go for that dunk animation because a spin layup I mean, it's it can be effective, but you know, you, you know, you know how it is You want to get a dunk animation more than a layup animation. So I'll do it one more time here to the left And in this case, I'm gonna press to the right because we're on the left side of the court and I you, typically you want to spin towards the hoop I mean you can yeah, I'll, I'll press the left here this can be good too. I mean, it really just depends on your defender's positioning. Um, it's more of a read and react and you can make it more advanced, but just to perform the move, you can press left or right. It really doesn't matter. And sometimes as we get a layup there, sometimes you get really, really glitchy animations. Like I, I've seen people spin from like all the way out here towards the hoop. 
it just I don't know I don't I've I still haven't figured out how to trigger that crazy animation if you guys know what I'm talking about but no that is how you spin dunk spin layup in the game and I'm gonna I'll give you guys just a one more one more I guess I'll, give, I'll call this a combo it's, it is a combo that's what it is so I talked about in my post spin tutorial video if you guys haven't seen that I recommend checking that out it's just a basic spin move um, right here but no you can combo from the post spin move into a uh, spin layup spin dunk which is what I like to do a lot when I'm posting up so how you perform that move just a quick you know a little extra here you hold L2 obviously you're posting up and then you spin see if you can get a spin and then you double tap square and look at that you can combo in to a nice uh, to a nice spin dunk now I will say this move um, I do think the hop step and the euro step are a little bit better than this move it's still a good move it can be very effective however since 2k19 from my experience this move you do get stripped quite a bit like right there if you don't completely seal off your defender, which I know we don't have one here, uh, I don't know. Your defender can just can definitely like poke the ball loose. I don't know. It's 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 strange. I mean, it's obviously realistic, but I've seen quite frequently this move get get uh, poked or you lose the ball even with unpluckable. So that's why I highly recommend unpluckable if you're going to be performing this move a lot, or I just recommend going for other moves. But this it's a good move. I just, uh, I don't know, in my opinion, if I had to rank him, I would probably say the Euro step or hop step. I, we still haven't figured out in 2K21 what the most overpowered one is yet, but I would say hop step is probably the most overpowered than Euro step and then the spin dunk. But no, you guys heard, have heard me talk enough here. If this video helped you out, guys, please go ahead and leave a like on the video. It definitely helps me out and uh, lets me know I helped you out with this video or I'm doing good on these videos. And uh, if you guys want to learn other moves in the game, definitely check out my move tutorial playlist. It's in the description, it's in the comments, and it's at the end of the video. So I highly recommend that, especially if you're new to NBA 2K21 or you just want to improve your game. And also consider subscribing as I make a bunch of tutorials, like I just said. And I make a lot of my team content too. I know a lot of you guys watching this probably aren't my team, guys. But if you do like my team, I definitely recommend subscribing for that too. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.